You know what the dumbest thing is? Typing the same sentence over and over again. Thanks for your email, I'll get back to you shortly. Every single time. But here's the thing, there's a little tool that can make your keyboard feel like a cheat code. It's called a text pander. And once you set it up, you'll wonder how you ever live without it. Today I'm gonna show you how a text pander can save you hours of typing every week. Make your email sound smarter, making your writing cleaner, and if you're a developer, basically turn your computer into a personal assistant. Before starting, I should mention that every configuration item I talk about in this video is linked in the description. So once you see how they work and how you can use it, you can download them and start customizing them right away. Now if you've never heard of a text pander, here's the deal. You type a short trigger like colon ty and your computer automatically expands it into a full sentence like thanks for your email, I'll get back to you shortly. That's it. That's the whole concept. Sounds simple, right? It's about removing friction from your workflow everywhere. There are many text expanders available, both free and paid. However, the one I found to be free, really useful, full of options and customization, and also cross-platform so you can install it on all PCs is Spansel. First, to install Spansel, head over to spansel.org and click on get started. Spanso is available on Windows, macOS, and Linux. So no matter what operating system you're using, it comes with the same options on all platforms. After clicking on get started, you can now download Spanso. Once installed, you can verify that it's working properly by opening a terminal and typing Spanso status. On Windows, you'll also see a tray icon for Spanso when it's installed. Now that Spanso is installed and running, let's get into my configurations. All our configuration and settings will be stored in a file named base.yml which is located at the configuration directory. To find where Spanso's config file is located, run Spanso path. This will show you the location of the file. Open match folder, then open base.yml and edit it using any text editor you prefer. At this point, you can paste or move my configuration file there and start using it. Basically, each entry in the file is created using a trigger and a replace. There are also additional options. For example, if you have two triggers that are similar, such as GA and GAC, you can define what should happen in that situation. First up, we have emails and communications. Typing hope you're doing well repeatedly adds up. I map that into colon hey. Scheduling messages are handled by colon avail, which drops in my standard meeting times. For weekly reporting, colon update expands into a structured status template, where we have jobs done, in progress, and blockers. I also use it for daily life details, colon add where we have colon address expands into my home address, colon email expands into my email, and colon phone expands into my phone number. For efficiency, I built colon contact, which outputs all of them together in a block. Filling out forms online is faster because everything is inserted at once. You may be wondering why I don't save this info in my browser, and I should say that I use many browsers so I can sync them all together. Also, date and timestamps are handled with colon now. Typing it inserts the current date and time automatically, which will be useful for reports, logs, and documentations. So next we have writing and documents. Writers, bloggers, and note takers save time with formatting shortcuts. Markdown is easier when colon bold expands it into this with the cursor inside it. Colon H2 creates a header instantly. Creating tables manually is slow, but typing colon TBL3 drops in a ready to use tree colon markdown table. Boilerplate text also fits naturally here. GDPR disclaimers, contract clauses, or recurring meeting agendas are stored as triggers and inserted as needed. 
This avoids searching old documents or retyping the same paragraph. Next to that, we have messaging. I mapped colon CB to triple backticks for code blocks. I also use triggers for quick formatting. For reactions, colon shrug inserts this. These shortcuts make chat more efficient and consistent across platforms. Next section is for developers. For developers, expanders accelerate repetitive commands. Git commands are reduced to colon GAC for git add and commit, with cursor positioned in the codes, colon GS for git status, and GP for pushing changes. Docker tasks use DK up for Docker compose up detached and DK down for stopping services. You can also use regex snippets. App scope triggers prevent conflicts. Git shortcuts only run in the terminal, while writing snippets stay in note taking apps. This keeps workflow organized and context sensitive. Another nice feature that Spanso has added recently is Spanso Hub. I haven't seen anything quite like it elsewhere. It's essentially a plugin system for your tech spanders. To use it, head over to hub.spanso.org where you'll find access to all the community created shortcuts. There's almost everything you can think of. Airport codes, which expands into their city names, a weather package that fetches updates from a website, a UUID generator, and some language packs with accented characters, Albanian, German, and many more you can find here. So if you work with languages beyond English, this can be extremely useful, no matter whether it's languages, symbols, utilities, or other handy tools, you'll likely find something here. One package I really like because it's fun is table topic questions. To install it, open up the terminal and type spanso install followed by the package name. Here is table topics. Once installed, you can use this trigger which is written on the code. The trigger here is exclamation mark followed by Q and A. So typing this will instantly generate a random question. So yeah, a text expander sounds boring at first, but once you start using it, it's like putting rocket fuel in your keyboard. Best part about Spanso is that it's open source, so you're not worried about your data going anywhere. So try it out, set up shortcuts you use every day, and I guarantee you'll get hooked.